No Craigslist ad this week, and there is a reason. It is because Hardbody Hopper missed last week. And last week, you would probably recall that we did the Jim Ross uh, Rock and Roll Express Super Date, I guess, interview <laughs> along with Bill Watts uh, chiming in at the end. So I am going to play this right now, and I want – Again, if you missed last week's show, no problem. We're going to play it again. And i got to be honest, Doc, it's probably worth the replay because we had a lot of fun with this one, even without offer. So I'm going to play this now for everybody and enjoy. Again, this is the win a date with the rock and roll from Mid-South Wrestling in 1984 before the, I think it was either April or June, Superdome extravaganza. The Superdome extravaganza is always the greatest wrestling event in America, and, and this year, because of the World's Fair being held in New Orleans, we're going to have a, a special Superdome edition. Uh, that match will happen on June the 16th, and I want to remind everyone that tickets for the next Superdome will go on sale on Monday, May the 7th. Monday, May the 7th at all Ticketmaster outlets and the Superdome, so be sure and make plans to attend the Superdome on June the 16th. We also have some great news about a super date at the Superdome. You young ladies uh, that are not married, that are at least 18 years of age, will have a chance to win a date with the Rock and Roll Express, with uh, hotel accommodations, a round trip airfare, and many other things. Get your pencil and paper handy, and we'll tell you how you can enter the Super Date at the Superdome later in this hour. Now, we've been promising you about a Super Date at the Superdome on June the 16th. Jim Ross is in the ring with the new tag team champions, the Rock and Roll Express, to tell you about this exciting contest. Let's go to Jim now. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a dual purpose for being in the ring here at the Rock and Roll Express and these fine young ladies here at our Irishman Hill Boys Club. First of all, gentlemen, congratulations on winning the Mid-South Tag Team titles. We're all very proud of you. And secondly, and secondly, you know, the, the Superdome's coming up on June the 16th. It's a World's Fair in New Orleans. It's going to be a very special Superdome, and we're going to have a, a, something very, very special, never done before in wrestling. We're going to have the Super Date at the Superdome. Now what that basically means, let me explain it to you very carefully. Uh, we're going to have two winners. They're going to receive round trip airfare to New Orleans, hotel accommodations, uh, ringside seats at the Superdome, and more important, importantly ladies, you're going to be able to go on a date with the Rock and Roll Express. <laughs> And I know that you all are excited about that. You all like to party. You like to party. And what better place than New Orleans? Let me tell you, Ross, first of all, I'd like to thank everybody for standing behind us because it was a long, hard road to get these belts. But, like you said, it's going to be a super date. We're going to be in a limousine. They're going to fly them in there, brother, and we're looking to have a good time, and we're going to party all night long. Remember, you have to be single, at least 18 years of age. Send us a picture, and in 25 words or less, why you want to go on the super date, and mail that to Super Date and care of Mid South Wrestling, Bixby, Oklahoma, seven four zero zero eight. Robert, you like to party? I know you're looking forward to this. Hey, kid, I like to party. And one thing I like to say, I'm glad we got these bells from sponsor all these people, and I hope I find two lucky ladies, boo. Well, two ladies are going to be very lucky, and ladies, we'll let you know more about the Super Date. But now let's go back to the desk and Cowboy Bill Watts. I might add that all these pictures that will be sent in, that there will be an independent agency that will select the final two winners that will be able to participate in this Super Date and go to New Orleans on Saturday, June the 16th. We'll announce the deadline of this contest next week. However, the picture, the better picture you send, naturally, the better opinion the judges can get and certainly your letter 25 <laughs> words or less of why you'd like to be a date of the rock and roll express in new orleans at the world's fair at the superdome have a great deal to do with it again next week we'll give you further information about the super date at the superdome i think it's a revolutionary idea i think there's going to be two young ladies that are going to be extremely happy you have to be at least 18 years of age send it to mid-south wrestling Bigsby, Oklahoma, 74008. We will keep all the entry and all the material come in. will become the property of Mid-South Sports, but an independent agency will pick the final two winners. They'll be flown to New Orleans. They'll be picked up by a limousine. They'll be placed in a fine hotel. It will be a chaperoned evening. They'll have dinner, and then after the Superdome, they'll get to go dancing with the Rock and Roll Express. And I think, who, what better? Because, like they say, rock and roll is here to stay. Thank you for having us in your home. We'll look forward to being there again next week. Again, Bill Watts can't keep a straight face at the end of that. If you watch it along, he's laughing. All right, uh, everyone has heard me and Doc's point of view on this. Harper, I'm going to let you weigh in because I, <laughs> I sent this to you, played it, uh, you played it, and then you heard it here. Go ahead and tell us what you think. 
I want to know who they fucked that night because you know they fucked somebody. Well, no, no, punk, there punk is, is a follow up video where they show the two girls out with really? them dancing and having a good time. Yes, I have it, but I, 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 I tried to post it on YouTube, but it got pulled. So, but Damn. they did. Yes, yes, they they did. Oh, Hopper, go to my go to my Twitter. I posted it there too. Go to my Twitter. Okay. My, not the not the not the show Twitter, my personal one, because I was able to upload the video there, and they show them dancing with these broads, and oh boy. So, um, it, what else, Hopper? You got anything else from it, bro? It's <laughs> you know they got fucked hard. <laughs> Bro, you know, bro, but you know, as soon as those fucking cameras stop rolling, they knock that shit out. Punky's um, married, dude. Yeah. So apparently, well, I don't know if Bo James was telling the truth about this on Twitter or not, but he tweeted the show earlier today and said that at that point, Ricky had been married for six years. I don't know if that's well, true, Morton, though. Morton, Morton talked about being married for 31 years or some shit like that at the, uh, at the uh, Hall of Fame. Okay. Not on that night. <laughs> uh, Harper, what did you think about the independent panel of judges? Right, right. They just look, you know, the the, the better the pitcher you send. So I was wondering, brown did he eye. Needs, send us some fucking nudie pictures. Just a brown eye. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm Wanda. Here's my asshole. <laughs> <laughs> That's real classy. Well, remember also, Offer, they had to send in a 25-word uh, response as to why they should be picked. So, Doc, you want to tell Offer yeah. what you said that they should put I, on it last? I don't know. Just I, Maybe like I can stick my whole fist in my mouth or something. Yeah. <laughs> I just wonder. It's like Bill Watts is sitting there. You can hear the shit-eating grin on his face like, <laughs> like fucking blind-ass Leroy McGurk would have whooped my ass if I ever pulled this shit back in the day. <laughs> well, I he, knows, he, I, he, he knows he's spitting on his legacy with this shit. <laughs> I did get I did get a question on the Facebook page from longtime listener Kevin Barrett, and he said, "How much did the chaperone on the date get paid to leave for an hour so that the rock and roll could yeah. get comfortable with the ladies?" An hour. I don't know, but he banged them after. I, they banged them after. I guarantee you. Well, how well, old were they? Because. Because they look like they were fucking super young, man. Well, like, Ricky turned... Ricky's born in uh, 57, so he was 20 in in, in in 77. So this is 84. 27. He, he's, yeah, he's 27 years old at that point. Oh. I don't know. I, I, I guess Gibson's about the same, but... Yeah, God. I mean, they look like kids, though, dude, don't they? Right, yes. They, they fucking... They, because his 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 uh, mullet isn't at full, it's not at full strength yet. <laughs> yeah, it was it was shorter, it was shorter at that point. Hey, they also oh. said that it's a super date at the Superdome. Didn't a few super dates at the Superdome happen right after Katrina too? That's that's real nice. Yeah, that's real classic. I guess it's not. It ain't funny. <laughs> okay, let's move on. <laughs> the Super Day. So we had to get that one out. Harper gave us his nice analysis of of the rock and roll bang well, I think and a couple everybody, of rats. I, I think everybody's consensus was is that those, regardless of matrimony, those girls got fucked that night. Oh yeah, and not just really those girls. Well, yeah, and we also don't know what what um, independent panel is uh, kayfabe for. It might have been uh, the heel locker room or the baby face locker room. We don't know. <laughs> the independent panel was Ricky and Robert. That's who the independent panel was. Yeah. Right? 100% should have been telling corny. you now. Shit. I'm telling you on that one. Uh, anyway. I want to fuck that one. Yeah. <laughs> she I got would... nice titties. There you go. I'm telling you, man, you can only imagine what they did. <laughs> All right. We're going to get into NWA WCW from January 11th of 1986. I want to remind everyone.